Hello, and welcome to this presentation about Blue Canoe with Color Vowel. I'm Karen Taylor. You may be familiar with Color Vowel as a chart. The Color Vowel chart is a visual organizer for spoken English. And I'll spend a couple of minutes reviewing that just to be sure you know how we're building Blue Canoe. It is also an approach though for teaching spoken English. Specifically, it's a set of brain-based teaching and learning strategies that prioritizes stress and vowel quality to improve learner confidence in spoken English. We've been developing the color vowel chart, piloting and using it around the world for over 20 years. And through our partners and our teachers and our students, we have developed a set of strategies that we found highly compelling and effective in the classroom. It was with this in mind that we created a color vowel app and we've called that Blue Canoe. Blue Canoe contains voice recognition with artificial intelligence that enables us to listen to the learner and provide color vowel enhanced feedback so they know exactly how they need to adjust their speech to sound more comprehensible. That color vowel feedback is provided through pronunciation games, lessons, videos, quizzes, and a color vowel dictionary that I'll be showing you shortly. Finally, we provide a teacher dashboard for monitoring learner activity. Now, as you can see, the color vowel chart consists of a number of phrases, and each phrase represents a vowel sound of English, such that green T represents the E sound that you hear in each of those words. And a word like teacher would then be called a green word. Similarly, blue and moon contain the oo sound. So we would call a word like student a blue moon word. And we could hear that prominent stress and color sound in the stress syllable, blue moon student. Finally, a word like learning would be a purple shirt word. And you could hear the same sound in both the keyword phrase and the word that we're talking about, purple shirt learning. Now we've taken each of these keyword phrases and created an iconic image for each. These anchor images appear throughout Blue Canoe, both to guide students before they speak and to provide corrective feedback. Upon logging in for the first time, the learner is taken through an introductory activity that introduces them to color vowels. One of the first ahas they encounter is the idea that spelling is not a reliable guide to pronunciation. In this clip, collected while piloting the app, the user expresses disbelief about a seemingly simple pronunciation error that he's been making for years. Say and says looks. Gray day say. Red pepper says. Say. Uh, I never hear it be spoken like says. <laughs> uh, I'm now, <laughs> now my brain has a broken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, can you talk more about that? Because I see this word, I thought it is says, mm -hmm. not says. Mm -hmm. Actually, I always say says. Mm -hmm. hmm. But now, now I need to learn more English, I think. <laughs> Now, once the student is onboarded, they get to play their first game, and that game is called Color It Out. Uh, this is based on our original card game, the physical card game that we created back in 2013. So essentially, that card game is a lot like Uno. You're holding cards and you're matching word cards based on their vowel sound. Uh, so here in this card, you can see we've got Black Cat Family and a word that's spelled very similarly, but sounds different, olive, sock, father, so that these images help cue the learner to the fact that the A in each of these words does not sound the same in both words. Rather, family is a black cat word and father is olive. So we took that idea and made that our first game in Blue Canoe. And just like the physical card game, the learner has a hand of cards here that we can swipe back and forth. There's a discard deck and the computer has its set of cards to play. When the learner identifies a match, they drag the card up to create a play. Now notice they don't have to know the pronunciation of these words in advance. They're simply matching visually 
that both of these words are gray day words. Now, once they drag the card up, they can play their turn. And if they don't know what to say, they simply tap, help me say my turn. That turn sounds like this, gray day paper, gray day documentation. Notice how I'm using my hand to highlight the stress syllable of paper and documentation. We recommend that teachers teach learners how to do this because it creates not only an awareness of the stress location, but also it creates the amount of time on vowel that makes their pronunciation more successful. So when they're ready to play, they will hit the record button and they'll record themselves saying, once again, gray day paper, gray day documentation. The feedback we provide is going to give feedback on the location of stress and the vowel quality at that moment. So now it's my turn and I have one that matches. So white tie buy, white tie supplier. Let's see how well I did. Yay! So let's see. Green tea team, green tea receiver. Nice. Well, I'm gonna keep going with green tea. Green tea receiver. Green tea we. I really like this little game because you know that you're learning, but it's also fun. That's another one for me. Uh -huh. And I usually win, gross, so that's bow, nice. So, rose bow, gross. All right, let's try with red pepper since that's like a little bit difficult for me. So let's try it. Red pepper variable. Red pepper tentative. 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 See? Word that I didn't know. Just by looking at the word with its special color vowel markup, Beatrice was able to self-correct even before she received feedback. We have a second word level game, and that is sort it out. As implied by the name, the learner will be presented with a couple of choices. In this case, black cat a ah, and blue moon oo and then they will start to sort words as they fall from the sky, swiping each word to match its color vowel. As you rise through the levels, you start to see longer words, more complex spelling patterns, and you'll see that words fall more quickly the higher and higher you get. When you miscategorize more than three words out of the set of 16, you are sent back to round one. Sorted Out features all the touchstones of a compelling game. You can play Sorted Out silently, but we also have included a lot of engaging audio. So here I am ready to play Sorted Out. Um, my round number one starts with Olive Sock Ah. Olive Sock Ah. And this vowel sound. Purple Shirt uh. So I know what I'm going to be listening for in my mind as the words start falling. Here they come. We've got birthmark, birthmark. Now, if I'm an English learner, I may not know if it's birthmark or birthmark, ah, uh, ah, uh, er. So what if I say birthmark? Ooh, okay, that tells me that was wrong. <laughs> How about um, coffee, coffee, coffee? Okay, learn, earlier, purple, earlier, ba, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I can move these up to wait. Um, song, wrong, upon, were er er wa war swar swar okay curve desert 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 uh, curve curve er 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 earth walk walk certain small and model Whew. okay i got 15 out of 16 right and i got the victorious music i can go and take a look at my words I can write these down in my vowel organizer. I can look up words that I don't know, but here I can see that birthmark was the word, word that gave me trouble. Um, it's marked in red if you can't see that. Up here is the key so you can see which words you incorrectly categorized, okay? Uh, let's play one more round. This one is between white tie, I. 
I and brown cow. Ow. Ow. Okay, let's play. This time I'll make some mistakes just so you can see how that works. Uh, ride, 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 knife, knife, meow, 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 <laughs> meow, wine, prime. Yeah, so these, you know, these are two sounds that really have very different spellings typically, unless we get into some longer words. Let's see what happens. Um, okay, blouse, grout. Let's make some mistakes. We've got something like that and something like that. Pronounce, pronounce. I'll make a mistake. And howl and bright. Um, so we have die, oops, climb and fly. Oh, there's the sad music. The sad music is triggered when you get fewer than 13 correct. Um, we always want to remind learners to review their words to see which words they miscategorized. Now we all know that word level practice is important and yet not sufficient. And it's for this reason that we've created our sentence level lessons. As shown here, we've organized lessons into super categories like language, work, and industry. Within each of those categories are subcategories like customer service. And then within that category are a number of lessons. Each lesson contains six sentences. Let's see what one looks like. Now we're about to look at a sentence in that lesson. And the sentence you're about to see is the following. That must be terribly frustrating. That must be terribly frustrating. That must be terribly frustrating. So we've taken this beat that you keep seeing me indicate with my hand, and we've indicated this visually to give the learner a head start on sounding as comprehensible as possible. That must be terribly frustrating. As you can see here, we've divided that sentence into three visual lines, each one featuring a specific focus word. And with each of those focus words, then accompanied by a color vowel image, now the learner will go ahead and listen to this sentence as many times as they need to, and then they will record. When they record, they will receive visual feedback on their sentence. It looks something like this. First, you'll notice this holistic score indicating that there's quite a bit of feedback to take in. The learner can then compare their voice to the model and gain some feedback just by comparing the two. Next, they move into the words themselves and they can click each icon to receive specific feedback. Here, for example, the student said frustrating instead of frustrating. And so they were corrected that this is a cup of mustard word and I hear you using blue moon. So here, the artificial intelligence and voice recognition that we've built into Blue Canoe can actually hear the difference between someone saying frustrating and frustrating. Finally, a learner may receive extra feedback, and this comes from their own phone. It's sort of what Siri heard. When a learner has the support of a color vowel trained teacher, they're able to employ additional strategies that further enhance the learning experience. Here's what that looks like. Hello, I'm Gil Sozana, and today I'm going to use my cell phone and play a game in color vowel system, Blue Canoe app. I plan to vote for the best politician in the next election. Yeah, I plan to vote for the best politician in the next election. I need to feel more confidence about it, and I will... Rose boat vote. Rose boat vote. Silver pen politician. Silver pen politician. Red pepper election. Red pepper election. I plan to vote for the best politician in the next election. I plan to vote for the best politician in the next election. Uh, for example, I make a mistake around the word best, best here. This is a red pepper, eh, word. Red pepper best. Red pepper best. Now, Gilson's having some trouble with the difference between red pepper, eh, and black cat, ah. So Blue Canoe provides him with a color vowel yoga video in which I demonstrate the difference between these two similar sounds.
The yeah movement is a great way to discover the difference between red pepper eh and black cat ah. So if eh and ah sound the same to you, try this. Starting with yeah, we'll say green tea yeah. Notice how you moved through red on the way to black cat ah. So this time we'll go slowly, we'll maintain a smile, and as we come down we'll stop in red. Green tea eh. And there's red, red pepper eh. So even if you can't hear the difference between eh and ah, you can locate the jaw position to produce red pepper eh. Yeah, red pepper, excellent. Yeah, black cat, fantastic. Videos like this one are available in Blue Canoe and on our YouTube channel. Now we organize these activities into a daily plan for students so that they know exactly what to do each day. As they complete each activity, they get a green dot next to that activity. And when all three activities are filled, they then receive a green dot for that day. You as the teacher can decide whether you want them to fulfill that daily practice every day, or maybe five days a week, or maybe three days a week. It all depends on what you know about students' needs. Now, as you can see along the bottom, there is a menu of additional features, and I'd like to walk you through a couple of those. Now, the Blue Canoe Dictionary is exciting because it integrates color vowel with all of the features you find in most online dictionaries. Now, here on the left is a word that one of our learners recently pronounced as novice, novice. Now, when he looks it up in a dictionary, he'll see that it is actually olive sock novice. Similarly, that same learner mispronounced this word as impotence. When looked up in the dictionary, you can see that it is gray day impatience. Finally, that very same learner mispronounced this word as crowed. When he looked it up, he thought, oh, it's crowd, brown cow crowd. So with this very simple color vowel markup, learners are able to see instantly how a word sounds. Blue Canoe also has a dictionary browser extension. So if you work with learners online, they can install the browser extension and easily look up words right then, right there, knowing how they sound instantly. For example, if I have this page up from the International Space Station, it's just a Google search, I can use my browser's plugin and then as long as it's an HTML page on the internet, I can double click on a word and it will look it up for me. And so here I can hear it. Green tea, E. Research. And then I can move to the next word that I'm not sure how to say. This is especially helpful for learners when they need to give a talk or summarize something that they've read so that as they read, they can look up those keywords like astrobiology and see that, oh, this is an olive sock word. They can also listen. Olive sock. Ah. Oh. Astrobiology. With each word they look up, they can record that in their color vowel graphic organizer. You can download the Blue Canoe Dictionary extension for free at bluecanoelearning.com. When you get to the homepage, just scroll down to the bottom and you will find that browser extension link. And from this page, you can download according to your browser type. So you may have noticed by now that Blue Canoe is not just an app. Rather, it is an enhancement to the learning experience. You integrate enough color vowel into your instruction that your learners know how to use Blue Canoe effectively. And this creates a powerful learning practice cycle for the learner, whereby in class, they encounter the color vowel chart and you ask intriguing questions like, listen, what color is topic, topic. They engage with the chart, they figure out ta -a 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 topic. Oh, it's an olive sock word. And with that kind of noticing, they can leave the classroom, use Blue Canoe, and then start to make observations of their own regarding words that they thought they knew, but that they've been mispronouncing all along, perhaps. For example, they might come back to your classroom and say, oh my gosh, I thought cover was rose, but it's actually a mustard word. It's not cover, it's cover, right? Rose, boat, cover? No, a cup of mustard cover, yes. 
Now getting on board with Blue Canoe is easy. You can go straight to our website at bluecanoelearning.com. We work with individual classrooms as well as schools and school systems by providing volume pricing on licenses for Blue Canoe. Blue Canoe is most successful with learners when their teachers are ColorVal trained. Getting trained with us is not just a one-off training. It's an experience that brings you into a vast community of enthusiastic teachers who are always ready to help one another. We hear time and again how ColorVal transforms teachers' lives, creates a renewed sense of curiosity in the language that they're teaching, and provides them with extremely powerful tools and awareness for effective teaching. Thank you for joining me today. Please learn more about Blue Canoe at bluecanoelearning.com and ColorVowel at ColorVowel.com. Have a great day.